All right, let's talk about Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is back. Uh, you know, all this talk about are the Cardinals tanking for Caleb Williams? They already have their franchise quarterback. He looked like, uh, you know, prime Kyler Murray in this game. Obviously, Kyler had that great 2021 season, but it kind of fell off the rails at the end. Uh, 2022 kind of took a step back uh, and then was hurt for most of 2023. So I think some questions uh, were reasonable about his play and where he would be at at this point in his career. It has been a minute since we've seen him look awesome, uh, but now it's only been a game since we've seen him look awesome. He looked great in this one, and let's talk about what he was able to do so well. Starting off with this play, it's man coverage, and it's Trey McBride. Trey McBride, uh, you know, a really hyped up tight end prospect who really kind of had a coming out party in this game. You see his route, one-on-one -on -one matchup, could get open. Watch as when Kyler takes the snap, he is going to look McBride's direction. He fires McBride's direction, and there's a window. McBride had some plays where he was wide open. Uh, this is not one of them. He's open enough. There is a window, but Kyler's going to have to put this one right on the money, really. And as you see, he does exactly that. Great catch from McBride, uh, you know, even a defensive penalty on the play. And this is just what Kyler brings to the table, right? I mean, listen, there's plenty of quarterbacks who can hit the open guy. And, you know, Dobbs was able to do a lot of nice stuff with the Cardinals. But this is the play Dobbs, is, you're not banking on him making, and you are banking on Kyler making. So with this McBride and Kyler Murray connection, this is something that could be very exciting for several years to come for the Cardinals, who, you know, again, everyone kind of talks about them as if they're going to get a quarterback. And, you know, to some degree, I get it. Some people think Caleb Williams is like the next, you know, Trevor Lawrence level of prospect. So if you have that opportunity, I understand why you'd at least consider it. But, you know, with Kyler playing this way, it gives you an opportunity for, you know, just another weapon somehow. And, you know, McBride is, is a weapon in himself. Also going over here, you know, one thing about Kyler that is just so impactful is he opens up the playbook. He gives you extra plays that other quarterbacks just don't give you. Something like this starts off as a pretty traditional play. You have Kyler kind of roll out towards the top of the screen. Then you have a receiver running a route over the middle. Okay, simple enough, right? Except that route is actually the key one here. Hopefully the first route got everyone to kind of move over towards the top of the screen and there could be a little bubble there. Now, Kyler would have to throw across his body. Well, let's see how it works out. So Kyler takes the snap. He runs a play action, moves up towards the top of the screen and then it fires towards the bottom of the screen and you see how well that area was cleared out due to the concept. This was a good concept and a good play call, 100%. But part of what makes this work is you can trust Kyler Murray to be on the hash marks on the top of the screen and throw it all the way outside the numbers on the bottom of the screen, right? You can just trust him to make those types of plays. As you see, Kyler hits this one. Again, it was an open throw, but it was open and set up due to, you know, you get to open up the playbook with Kyler Murray. It works in you know, some really clever ways like that one. It also works in some less clever, but still important ways like this one, which is kind of a, you know, a staple of if you're a team of a running quarterback, you almost always run this type of play. But again, it's important. So this is one that the Cardinals did run with Dobbs, but you can still run it with Kyler as well, where you're going to run a play action and then have Kyler Murray go towards the outside. He's going to keep the ball himself and run towards the offense's left. There is an Atlanta edge rusher on this play, and he's going to be the key guy, right? If he stays towards the outside and Kyler keeps it and runs towards the outside, this could end up being a loss here on third down and one. However, watch how he is going to get pretty fooled by this fake. And to be honest, even if you're just a half step out of position, Kyler Murray's so fast, he can get by you. If you're this far out of position, you don't stand a chance. As you see, Kyler is able to get by not just him, but everybody gets into the end zone for a touchdown on that play. Great stuff from Kyler Murray to be able to pull that stuff off. Again, to some degree, you could look at these plays and say, well, you know, yeah, he did his job. You know, give him credit for that. But it's not like they're like amazing highlight reel level plays. However, the flip side is the reason why they're a bit easier is because of what Kyler Murray brings to the table. Because of his unique skill set, you can game plan around it and get more easier first downs and easier touchdowns. Uh, and, you know, like I showed up the first play, even one there were tough plays he had to make. He made those as well. This one was the real negative, the real downside. Uh, it's going to be a, you know, zone coverage play. You have Trey McBride running over the middle. To be honest, this I, I'm pretty sure this is just a miscommunication. Watch out. As Kyler Murray you know, runs a play action, he's going to look over the middle. He fires over the middle. And right here, uh, you know, you see that there is a window for this throw to be made. There, there is. And especially if McBride just stops, uh, you know, where he's at, 
it's going to be easily open. And I think that's what Kyler thought McBride was going to do. Now, it's even possible he was hoping McBride would just notice the situation and stop. You know, uh, I don't know if this is an option route. I'm not in the huddle. You can't say for certain. But it does look like this isn't just a missed throw, but kind of, you know, just given the way the defense is set up, it looks like Murray is throwing it to where the you know, defenders aren't. But unfortunately, McBride is also running towards the top of the screen and getting out of that area meaning the ball keeps going to where a defender is and it ends up intercepted as well. The you know one black spot on a otherwise really good resume uh, in this game by Kyler Murray. All this stuff was good. All this stuff was fun. But you know what? Who cares about any of that? This next play is what it's all about. Right here. This is what matters. This is Kyler Murray. This is what he brings to the table. This is why uh, they spent the first overall pick on him several years ago. Why they paid him all that money. This play right here. It's third down and 10. The Cardinals are down a point under two minutes left. So, you know, if you don't convert here, you still do have a chance. I think you probably go for it uh, here on fourth down. And if you don't get it, you have all three timeouts. So you're not dead. But man, is this an important play, right? You're in a tough spot if you don't convert here. Kyler takes the snap, and bad news gets worse as he starts to scramble out. There's not really much open down the field. There's pressure in his face. I mean, you know, uh, most quarterbacks are not succeeding right here, right? Clayton Toon isn't turning this into a first down, no doubt about it. But watch Kyler somehow just get around all of these defenders, scrambles outside the pocket. Great job by the offensive line, too, in that situation of getting over, getting in the way of players without, you know, no blindside blocks, right? Because if you uh, block someone towards your own end zone in an aggressive, you know, with a significant force, that can cause a penalty. They did a great job on that play to help out and not hurt. You get to this point where Kyler, he sees a window. And again, I don't know if this is first down and 10 in the first quarter. I don't know if Kyler Murray gets the first down. He might just pick up a few more yards and slide and call it. In this spot, though, you're trying to win a football game. He's going for it. And watch him get in between both of those two defenders, dives forward, picks up the first down. Uh, they got in field goal range a little bit later on a good Trey McBride catch uh, to get them inside the, the, the 10. They were already in the outside of field goal range when that happened. Uh, but this was the big play. This was what got them the victory. And for Kyler Murray, I mean, he does change this Cardinals team. Obviously, you're two and eight. Like the you know playoffs aren't happening. It's just you're too far behind. Maybe if you went out, you have a chance. But it would be you know one of the all time runs if they made that happen. I'm not banking on the Cardinals doing anything like that. But they're certainly an interesting team with Kyler Murray. And while some people might say, oh no, you're hurting your draft position winning these football games. Isn't the ideal scenario to you know I don't know the kicker to miss the field goal at the end? You still feel great. Maybe, maybe. But for one thing, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I've watched my, I'm a Tampa Bay fan. I've watched my fair share of really bad Tampa Bay teams. I still think it's fun to root for them to win. That's just, you know, it's fun to win one, right? Uh, so I'm sure the Cardinals fans kind of like that. And also it's like, hey, if you have a franchise quarterback, who cares if you're picking fourth instead of first? Because you have a franchise quarterback now and you're just going to get a you know playmaker to help him out. Obviously a perfect scenario is franchise quarterback and first overall pick. I get it, but it's not a terrible situation. You'd rather Kyler Murray playing well than Kyler Murray coming in and stinking and then you need a new quarterback, right? Right. Like this is, this is not the worst case scenario. Best case scenario would have been a missed field goal at the end, but this is pretty close to best case scenario, I think. But yeah, that's how I view Kyler and all of this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.